High up on a lot of people's Christmas list this year will be cookery books, brimming with all those winter warming recipes. And I have to admit, I'm a self-declared hoarder of recipe books. I love them from the smell to the crispness of the pages and the folding through all the beautiful pictures and recipes. All I'm wanting for this time of year is a big, robust, hearty meal for me and my family to enjoy. So tonight, I'm inviting you into my home to try some of my tasty home comforts. Chestnut soup is really seasonal and just oozes Christmas to me. What we're going to serve with that is a great seasonal treat and a local delicacy of teal, perfect for this time of year. So we're just going to pop that into a nice pan with some clarified butter and just start to seal that off. Probably about two to three minutes. It is Christmas, so there is quite a lot of butter, um, but this butter is going to give that real richness that this soup deserves. Once we've got a nice golden colour all the way around, we've got a preheated oven at 200 degrees and we'll pop it in there for about six minutes. So as we can now see, our butter is foaming. All that richness of the butter is really coming out. So at this point, we're just going to add our shallots and celeriac. We're just going to slowly start to cook them until they're just, just cooked. So maybe two, three minutes in the pan, beautiful. And just whilst those are roasting off, I'm just going to start to chop up our chestnuts to go in. So what we've got, and you can get these in any supermarket or local deli, is just some pre-cooked chestnuts. So they've been cooked, they've been peeled, they've taken all the worry out. So what we're going to do is just roughly chop these up. These are beautiful in so many different things. Once you have them, you can just break them up, put them over ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is beautiful. You just want to make sure that you're just listening out um, for the shallots and the celeriac as they roast off. I have to admit, I am a fan of the Christmas hat. Not so much of the Christmas jumper, but the hat is always uh, keeps my head warm as I have no hair. Festive cheer and all that. So anyway, once these are chopped up, we're just going to pop them in. Sometimes you might not want to make your own chicken stock, but whilst you've got all these beautiful turkey bones everywhere, make a stock out of it. Don't waste it. Roast off the bones, cover it with water, some root vegetables, and simmer it for four to six hours till it tastes rich. Pour that in. If you've got vegetarians coming to stay, or you are a vegetarian, by all means you can use a vegetable stock or a vegetable nage. So while that's simmering away, we're just going to double check our teal in the oven. So like I say, this has now been in for four to six minutes. You just want to just feel on there, and you want to feel slightly dense. That's all it is, and that's beautiful. So we're now going to put that on the side, let it rest, and then we'll be ready to go. Once that chicken stock's in, we're now going to bring that to the boil. We've just got a little bit of milk, and cream, pop that in and bring it up to the boil and then we'll simmer for about 20 minutes. So I've had the opportunity to have a little look through Marcus's canoe cookbook. And for me, this is an essence of weekend great snack food that you can just have elaborate dinner parties to great snacks and a light lunch. I've had a flick through and one of the greatest recipes I've found for this time of year is the mince pies with a frangipan top. Really interesting, really simple and something different. And I think that's what a cookbook should be about. And one of my top tips for looking into any cookbook is reading the index first. And then you start to go through the cookbook almost backwards. So you start at the back and you work your way to the front. Perfect, so we've just blended this soup and we've got this beautiful, silky, rich soup. And this is perfect for this time of year. So whilst that's heating back up, we're now gonna take our pan that the duck was cooked in, pop it on a nice high heat, and as I said a little bit earlier, we've got these beautiful um, local mushrooms that are called gerolles or chanterelles, and we're just gonna pop them into a nice hot pan. So just whilst they're starting to simmer away and cook, I'm just gonna talk about the dreaded sprouts that nobody wants to talk about apart from on Christmas Day. This is a perfect soup for Boxing Day. But if it's after Christmas or just before, you'll always have too many sprouts. Take the sprout, cut off the bottom, and we're just gonna take off some of the, the petals and they don't take much to do, and they're quite, they're almost like a freshness, like a seasoning to the soup. And then we're just gonna thinly slice just some chestnuts to go on the soup as well. And then we've got our beautiful teal. That's now just been resting for about eight to 10 minutes. So it's just had time to all relax and, and get as much flavor out of the bird as possible. So we'll just cut either side of the breasts. Perfect. And you'll just see it's just beautiful cooked, lovely and moist, um, and it's got that little bit of blood in there, but not too much. So we'll just cut that into three nice pieces. And now our mushrooms are just about cooked. It's perfect time to just now drop in our sprout shells from earlier. We're now ready to start dressing this beautiful seasonal soup. So in the pan, we've just got some of our gerolles. I'm gonna paste them in the bottom. And like I said before, the idea is we're gonna make a beautiful plate of food and then we're gonna have the soup on the side and you can pour it in at the table, which adds great theater, but also just lets you bring all these components together. What we're gonna to add to this soup is some cranberry gel. 
You don't have to mess about with the chefy faff if you don't want to. You just put it all into a bowl and you've got a great bowl of soup. But just if you do decide to have it as a starter on Christmas Day, this is something that can just really be a showstopper. For me, this is a perfect taste of where we are in the season and in the region. Um, and I can't wait to tuck in. So uh, I'm going to tuck in.